Hi everybody, it's Claire with another art journal video. Today I'm playing in my craft journal again. I'm really sorry, it is my favourite at the minute. Um, and I'm just going to be playing with some leftover pieces from a previous cutout page that I did. I'm sticking these in place using some PVA glue and making sure that they're dry really well. So once they are dry, then I'm then using uh, some Penny, which is also Dina Wakely, and I'm just adding it straight onto the page. There isn't any gesso on the page at all, so the paint does absorb quite well into the page. So once that was dry, I then added a bit of um, mineral onto the page too, um, in just a few areas, and blended that in. And this is a Distress Oxide from Tim Holtz and um, I'm just adding this on to some of the raised areas using a blending sponge. The Distress Oxide was in the colour ground espresso so it adds a little bit of a colour difference onto the page. So then this is some collage paper from Dina Wakely, I think it's from one of her more recent packs, um, might be called Elements and I'm just adding this onto the page too. So obviously where the gel medium goes, the Distress Oxides are lifting a little bit, but I wasn't too bothered about that because um, I wanted quite a grungy look with the background anyway, so it didn't really matter that there was some colour shifting. Um, then I'm just using a stamp and just adding some stamping detail onto the page too, using black archival ink. And then I'm going in with my white gel pen and just adding some highlights around the circles onto the page. A bit of mark making using a white Posca pen. And a gel pen too. This is just going to prove that I can do quite neutral pages. I know I often do use quite bright colours. But um, sometimes it is nice to work with something quite neutral. Saying that, here I go, adding something quite bright onto that lovely fern. So this is one of the chipboard um, elements, and it is also from Dina Wakely. Um, but doesn't that work well on that page? It really does. Look, I love how that looks. Um, so then I decided I would use one of her stencils as well, and just add a little bit of stenciling detail onto that middle part, just to echo the... Uh, chipboard element. I think this is a curly frond st uh, stencil and mask um, and it just adds a little bit more detail onto there. So the paper that's underneath my journal I'm going to I will be using as an under paper and um, sometimes it gets cut up and put in journals that I have for sale. Oh look at that great big splodge of, of pe um, gloss paint there that just wiped off quite nicely which was lucky. So once that was then dry um, oh, it was in fuchsia, by the way, sorry. I'm then sticking down the uh, chipboard piece. And I'm just using the stub below all, and I'm just going round the pieces of card that I've stuck on, and then water activating them. I'm trying to give the uh, background quite a 3D look. So then I've just added a bit more white Posca pen paint onto there just because I wanted the letters to stand out. So these are some rub-on letters from Art by Marlene and um, these are some of my favourite at the minute. I love the kind of eclectic look of the different lettering styles. It's something that I've always been fascinated by is different fonts. Um, so if you want a really quick fix for doing lettering these are a really great idea. Okay, so once I've put those in place, that's the page done. So there we go. There's a little bit of journaling around the edge too, but there's a really quick page. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.